Okay, the big change has started. I meant to get the beginning of this, but uh, couldn't find the camera. And I just found the camera, so I guess we'll pick up right here. Um, the fish have all been netted out, and the plants have been removed. They are all in this big, huge Rubbermaid container with a little Magnum 350 that I cycled on the tank running give them some filtration some more of the plants are over here tank's been emptied I got one five gallon bucket worth of the old gravel out so I still have this side to go Got Carby C, the uh, Floramax. It's going to be the Miracle Grow Organic on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to lightly cap that with a little bit of Safety Zorb clay. And then I'm going to put all of this on top of that. And I'm going to finally cap the whole deal off with some black sand. So, it has been started. I don't know how much I'm going to get tonight, done tonight, but uh, we'll see. It looks like a mess right now. Oh well. I'll shoot some more footage here when I get a little further on. Okay, a couple hours later. Got... Pretty much all the gravel out of the tank. Probably gonna leave what's left in there. I'm just gonna put dirt over the top of it so it doesn't really matter. Uh, flip the tank around because this has always been the back side and the front side's got some scratches on it. So this should be scratch free after I clean it up. It's got a little algae and some water stains on it, but It'll still look a lot better. It won't have those scratches. Um, one casualty. It's one of my checkerboard cichlids. One of the nicer ones, of course. Couldn't, couldn't have lost one of the, the crummy fish, but the $2 fish. No, I had to lose the more expensive one and the nicer one. Oh well. It is what it is, I guess. But, uh, I've got the Carby C ready to go here soon. It's my last bucket of the gravel. Gotta carry it down and out and get the dirt and bring it in. And, uh, we'll see how this goes. Be back in a little while. Okay, the dirt's in on the bottom, and that's the cap of the safety orb. It's just a thin cap. And next comes the Carby C. Floramax. Be right back. Okay, what I'm doing now is the mud and uh, I'm pushing that back away from the glass. Getting a clear shot at the glass. And then Taking temp some of the safety orb and putting it up across the front. That way, it won't have that line of mud at the very bottom.
yeah, it'll look a little nicer. And I'm going to do it here on this side too, because when you, the door coming into the room is right here, so if that door's open, I don't want to see the mud line on the side here, so I'm going to edge this side with that uh, Carby C. That way you'll just see the black gravel where it's visible. Uh, it's up to you whether you do it or not. I mean, it's not crucial to the tank, it's performance or anything, but uh, I think it looks nicer. So, be right back. All right, here is the all the Floramax in. Started doing a little bit of the hardscaping. Kind of tiered that down. It's highest in that corner. Slopes down a little bit and slopes down a little bit and kind of comes down in. Thought I'd try something a little different. I don't know. I can always change it later if I don't like it. But uh, it's about an inch of the Floramax. Maybe an inch and a half at the back and an inch towards the front. And as you can see, across the front and this side, what you see is the black Floramax. Doesn't show anything else. And here is the sand, the black sand, which is this. You can get a tractor supply, it's about five, six dollars a bag for a 50 pound bag. I've done huh, two 10 gallons and this, and I'm probably going to still have some left over. So, and there's the Floramax bag, which is going to give me all my minerals. And uh, I don't have a bag for the safety orb that was in a container. But uh, that's just basically Tennessee clay with a high CEC content, which means it'll absorb a lot of the nutrients and then slowly release them to the roots of the plants as time goes by. But uh, that's where we stand right now. I'm going to do the sand here, get it all looking nice and fill it and drain it and fill it and drain it and fill it and drain it. And the uh, Floramax came with these little packets of uh, clarifier, water clarifier. So I guess what it does is it gets in there and gets all the particulate stuff to clump together and go to the bottom quicker. So once I get it uh, drained and filled a couple of times, get the water looking pretty clear, I'm going to let it sit overnight and run. And uh, Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess I really need to plant first. I'm going to fill it a little bit and then plant. And then fill it and drain it, fill it, drain it, fill it, drain it. Yeah, that's the plan. You got to look, you know, I missed step five in there somewhere. So, so I guess I'll put the sand in to cap it. Fill it, oh, maybe a quarter of the way. Plant it. Fill it all the way up, drain it, fill it, drain it, fill it, drain it, till the water looks a little clearer. Put some of that clarifier in there, and uh, then I'll let it run overnight. And then I'm going to take a couple of those those Buenos Aires Tetras. I initially got them to cycle this tank when I first set it up back in April. So I'll, I'll go ahead and put those two back in, and. Uh, over the next week or so, I'll keep an eye on the ammonia nitrite and nitrate levels. So it looks like we're good because the filter has already been cycled. The filter under here. <laughs> Magnum 350 has already been cycled, so it's got all the bacteria and all that stuff in it. But I'm going to just add them little by little out of this guy. They can live in that container for a little while. Well, i got to get back to work, so... The next uh, video probably be of uh, the tank with the plants and filled. All right, we'll see you there.
Okay, here we go. She's full of water. Really only had to uh, fill it, drain it twice. And then the third time I drained it down to, oh, maybe two or three inches of water from the gravel and planted. And I'm not finished planting completely, but got the crypts, crypt parva down there. Put the two swords on either side of that piece of wood that's just peeking up through. That's the Anubius. Another little crypt right there. The hair grass planted right there. And the chain sword up through there. That should fill all that in. And then the kabamba back there. Onion plant. A couple more little crypts. And the Anubis. Um, I don't know if y'all can see this, but uh, I've never seen an Anubis die, but this thing is not doing well. I mean, it is just dying off. I do have that one new leaf right back there, but maybe you can see it from the top. I mean, the leaves are looking crummy. Anybody uh, has any input about that, please uh, comment or let me know. Because I've never seen an Anubis die. They usually are pretty hardy, but anyway. So that's the new scape. I'm going to get the filters running now. Let it run overnight. And then I'll get back over here and put a couple of the fish in. Probably the Serpe Tetris. Or the Buenos Aires Tetris. And might even throw the Serpes in there too. See how it does, and then start slowly adding the other fish as after I check the levels and make sure everything's good. Okay, so there it is almost finished product. Uh, I got some other plants on the way, uh, they should be mailing out on Monday. And so I should get them next week. And uh, once I get them in there, this thing's going to look uh, really nice. Really, really nice. Okay. Well, that's... Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll update you as soon as I got something more to show.